my friends today we are in Lewisburg West Virginia and we were headed to the Lost World Caverns days with Jordan the lion begins right now well here it is my friends the Lost World Caverns we're going down 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 below today now this place also has the weird distinction of being tied into Bat Boy the <laughs> person who came and sat on a stalactite for 16 days. Bat Boy found in a cave in the Weekly World News, those old headlines. Yep, that was here. All right, we made it. I can't wait to check this out. This is like classic roadside America. This is the stuff I live for. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot to mention, they recommend you bring a jacket or a sweater or something like that because it's 52 degrees underground. So I get to wear my fame sweater. I'm loving the water wheel. Loving it. And loving that bear sitting over there too. So here's your little warning. Half mile long, temperature's 52 degrees, and it's a 45 minute walk. 300 steps throughout the cavern. And I will never complain about being greeted by a Bigfoot. Or a Velociraptor. Or a saber tooth tiger. And uh, Guess who they may have found here. Here's our entrance. Let's do it. Oh, so here's the story. Constructed in 1960, when they decided to open it, dug the opening with a bulldozer. All right, I can't wait to see this. Now, one interesting thing about this is that they said we'll get to a platform in here, and he said when you do look up, because you'll see daylight, that's how this cave was found. The farmer that owned the property used to throw his garbage and everything down that hole and then eventually they discovered this cave and everything down here. This may not be ideal for you if you are claustrophobic, by the way. So far for us, it is all steps. They said it is an active cave, so watch your step. Okay, we just found some of the rock here. right Wow so this specifically asks you to stay on trail and to take nothing but pictures leave nothing but footprints and killing nothing but time look at those up there Are those stalagmites it's very cool they have giant lighting through here. You'd have to, obviously. Now it says here that the cavern floor is littered with these oddly shaped limestone blocks because they've fallen from the ceiling. They were formed about 320 million years ago. Oh, wow. Now we're really getting somewhere. I'm starting to feel like I'm in Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom or something. Oh, that is so cool. My friend Breck would be loving this right now. He loves this kind of stuff. Oh, wow, what is this? Looks like a freaking snow creature. It's called Smurf Village. <laughs> the compound stalagmites is an example of pure white calcite. Many people think it resembles the houses that Smurfs lived in, hence the name. And this is called the ice cream wall. It says you'll see many strange mineral formations on the ceiling, floor, and walls of the cave. These formations are made as water from the surface becomes slightly acidic as it makes its way into the void of the cave. Look at that. Does look like melting ice cream, doesn't it? 
All right. Let's move along. Take the path. Here we got a few steps. Just in case you were wondering, if you're someone who was thinking of bringing a stroller, wheelchair, stuff like that, not gonna happen. Not a good idea. Isn't the exploration fun? <laughs> oh, look at that glow. The castle. It stopped growing because the calcite rich water no longer drips onto it. So it's okay to gently touch the formation. So it says that these take about 100 to 125 years to form one cubic inch of a calcite formation. Feels like, um, like acrylic paint. Look at the ceiling. Don't those look like angel wings? Look at this place. Man. Exploration is awesome. I just, I live to see new things. Oh, cool. This one's called the Bridal Veil. The reason it sparkles is because you're looking at calcite crystals which reflect light. So when you get a little closer to it, you can see how it has a nice shimmer to it. Okay, now we're gonna take this down. where we're heading down there wow look at that big one so that big one that we were just looking at as we were walking down here is named Goliath it's 40 feet tall 25 feet around and it's the biggest formation here, the Lost Worlds. They believe it's estimated to be five million years old. On we go. Being careful. Oh wow, look at all that. Woo! All kinds of stuff to see. Oh, and it keeps going. Now we're going through a shorter, smaller cave. Whoa. And it's still going. You end up going pretty far down. but it makes you feel like you're going kind of high because you're seeing so much beneath you. Now you're seeing what's really underneath the world that we're walking upon every day. Oh, this is cool. It says if you listen closely, you can hear a sound of a stream. And I hear it. Now, if this isn't enough for you, they actually offer a cave tour that's called the Wild Cave Expedition, and they take you off trail and let you look around. Crawling, climbing, things like that, you get to do a little bit more. It also says the deeper you go, you'll find no lights other than the one from your helmet that we give you, and you'll find water down there. I don't know, for me, this is enough. <laughs> I already feel like I'm in outer space or on Mars or something right now, so. 
and I have the whole place to myself. So cool. And they call that the snowy chandelier. It's the largest stalactite in the cave and it's estimated to weigh 30 tons. How do you estimate something like that? Oh wow, look at that. In the 60s, two teeth and a partial femur bone of a prehistoric, prehistoric cave bear were discovered in the back section of the cave. Wow. Determined to be an extinct species. Short-lived cave bear. Now that's the depths of where we go. Now we start working our way back up. This does kind of a loop. So they call these pigtail stalactites because they say that uh, apparently water dripped down on them from another stalactite and it came at like a curve and dripped in a curve so it made it spiral around and they ended up having that pigtail look. Oh look, we have water. That's why you can hear the trickling like they mentioned earlier. And they call this section over here the crystal waterfalls because water would trip down through and it would always have water coming down these. Hello, Mr. Cave Bear. Any cave bears still in here? Wow, look at that sucker. That thing's huge. All right, we're back on trail. Lots of stuff to stop and read along the way, learn, as you can see. Wow. That's down below. This is called the chapel. So I don't know, maybe you can get married right here. Just look at the formation of this rock, how it gets all smooth right there. That's pretty cool to see the effects of the water. Here they even have a wishing well. That's cool. It goes on forever. And up we go. Climbing, climbing, climbing. Wow, that's crazy. That looks like like the head of an alligator with a weird looking fish sitting on top of it. They call this up here the natural entrance, so we gotta check that out. Oh, so there's the, that's the sunlight. It says that is 12 stories above us right now. That's how they found it. That's what he was throwing all the garbage and stuff down in. And apparently when it was first discovered, they found a grapevine that led to the cave. That's how they kept following it along and discovered it. I am having so much fun. This is such a cool thing just to pop off the side of the road and do. 45 minute experience, just otherworldly. That rock kind of looks like a lion head to me. And then they call this the war club. <sighs> wow. Thing's a monster. And that's everything that we saw when we first came in that path. It looks like a giant mushroom cloud up there. Now 
Now it looks like a lot of it is just working your way back to the entrance the way we came. The last formation is what this is called. And there's the tunnel we took to get down here. It's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. Oh, and there's the room we started in. And on that note, our experience is complete. Well, I can't say enough about how awesome of an experience that was. If you make your way to Lewisburg, West Virginia, you'd be crazy not to stop here. Have a great night. Catch you all next time. Goodbye.